Alright guys, what is going on? It is Hank here from Nintendo, and today I'm going to be taking a look at the latest Pokemon Go update. Okay, so as you guys probably know, the Pokemon Go tracker has been broken for what seems like an eternity. But it seems that Niantic has at least noticed all of your complaints. And in the latest update, they've rolled out a new tracking system. Just keep in mind that the tracking system is not available to everyone. And guys, of course, everything that I'm using will be properly credited down in the description below that like button. Okay, so the first thing that's amazing about the new nearby tab is that they've seen the finally fix the preview order. Before, the three Pokemon that you'd see in the preview bar were randomized and not really in any particular order. That's fixed now, amazing. But guys, the biggest thing is definitely the new tracker. Okay, so let's take a look at this. You have a new nearby tab and you have a new tab called sightings. Now, Sightings seems to be the same tracker that we've come to know, perhaps not love, but it's the tracker that we've come to know, okay? So no footsteps, nothing like that, but there is some tall grass now that's paired with the Pokemon. I've no idea if the tall grass is just an aesthetic thing, or maybe it can give you some more information, but as of right now, I truly believe that the Sightings tab is basically just the old tracker with a new UI, but, you know, spruced up a little bit. Now, the real exciting stuff comes with the nearby tab. This actually allows you to pinpoint Pokemon more precisely. As you can see, each nearby Pokemon is paired up with a corresponding Pokestop, so each Pokemon can be found near the Pokestop it's paired up with. And the cool thing is that if you actually tap on the Pokestop on the nearby page, it actually zooms out of the entire map and shows you exactly where that Pokestop is. Now you will notice that along with the arrow pointing to the Pokestop, there's also a little footprints thing. Now what is really questionable about all of this, I've not seen any screenshots where this indicator has less than three footprints. So guys, has the three footprint glitch returned? Probably. What's more likely, however, is that they just haven't implemented it yet, which is why this is a beta that's only being rolled out to some people, not everyone. I don't know, I just found that amusing. Presumably the footprints would tell you how far away the Pokemon is from that Pokestop. But yeah, guys, that is the new tracking system in Pokemon Go. Remember, this is not finalized and this has not been rolled out to everyone yet, so they could change it and tweak it before it gets rolled out to the public. Personally, I think it's great that they're trying new things. I also think this heavily favors players in cities. Manhattan, I'm looking at you. Because if you're trying to track Pokemon in an area where there aren't many Pokestops, you're kind of out of luck there. And I don't know, I mean, you would just think that they would try to balance the game a bit more for rural areas, but this doesn't really seem to be doing that. Who knows, guys? I'm really excited to hear your thoughts on this update. I do try to reply to as many comments as possible. Possible. Anyways guys, that's gonna do it all for now. Thank you so much for watching. Definitely consider slapping that like button and subscribing for more Pokemon Go videos. And yeah, catch you guys in the next one.